a moment. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us on The Vineyard. I'm James Barkas. I want to say uh, it's an honor and a privilege to have you um, join me tonight. Um, we do have a major announcement tonight, and it's due to the fact that we had an issue where OBS Studio was hopping offline, back online. We're on gig service now through Spectrum. So what we're doing is pre-recording this. So, so I want to thank, thank you for joining us this evening on uh, our Sunday evening service. Um, we'll let you know this is being pre-taped. There was an issue earlier today where um, we had experienced a bit of problem where we experienced a bit of a problem <clears throat> with regards to show here. Uh, our key scripture is, For God so loved this world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, ways to help us, send your mail, send it by mail, check or money order, to James Barkus Ministries, P.O. Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Um, when we stream, and this is going to be a premiere at 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, when we get it uploaded, it will do a premiere at 7 p.m. tonight. So in essence, we're doing it like live, but it will premiere at 7 o'clock tonight. So Sunday morning, 10 a.m., Sunday evening, 7 p.m., and Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Um... Wednesday evening is questionable, and here's why. I work 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday as it stands now. Um, of course, there will also be special events throughout the year. As it stands now, I work 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. Um, by the time I get done at 5 o'clock in the evening, I am tired. I'm wore out because there is a lot that is done in customer service. So Wednesday evenings may be haphazard for a few weeks, but we will get to it and by we being the ministry. It's a link to the Word. It is available on uh, jamesparkusministries.wordpress.com. Click on link to the Word. Complete details are on there. But in brief, if you would like to donate Bibles, you can send them by FedEx, UPS, hand delivery, or USPS to James Barkus Ministries, 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Uh, if you do send it by way of United States Postal Service, it will get forwarded to the post office and help there. If you'd like to donate postage, check, money order, postage itself, uh, P.O. Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Our websites, jamesbarkusministries.weebly.com and jamesbarkusministries.wordpress.com. WordPress is our blog. Weebly is our uh, website. It's a free hosting uh, service there. If you'd like to give prayer requests on Twitter, 
at JBM Prayer. We take a look at it, plus we receive notice in our email box. Uh, testimonies can be sent to jbmprayeratlive.com. You can also send your prayer requests there as well. Uh, book us for special events, JBM World HQ at live.com. And as you know, as you well know, we had problems in the past getting this, but we are getting it up. And the one thing that I would like to add as well is, you know, everything that we do here with OBS, it's like live but it, it, it can be taped as well, which is what we're doing right now. So, without any further ado, let's get to our lesson for tonight, and that is the prayer between Jesus and His Father. These words say Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him, And this is his life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Now, O Father, Glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Let me touch on this for just a moment. Jesus was... Jesus was getting to this point that it's getting close to the time to come to hand. And give me just a moment while I turn the light on in our office here, and I'll... Be right here. Thank you so much for your patience there. As I turn the light on, we're going to change the direction of lighting here. When Jesus told his father, all mine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, he's telling his father, everything that I have is yours, and everything that is yours is mine, because I was up there in the glory with you. 
before you sent me to this mission. And now, I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. See, Jesus knew his Father wanted that relationship with man. Because Jesus and his Father in heaven were of one accord. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through that truth. That word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Not to pray I for the, these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them. That they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and thou me. That they may be made perfect in one. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them, as thou hast loved me. Father, I will let they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am. That they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee. And these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it. That the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. All through that prayer, all through that prayer, Jesus had over his disciples and over. Over his disciples, he prayed over them that they would receive the same as he received.
Jesus Christ prayed that all who came upon them that all who came upon him and received his word received it with gladness and received it as if it came from the Father. I honestly think in reading that chapter of John chapter 17 that Jesus Christ had been with them and that he missed being around his father and that he loved being around his father. Shouldn't we as Christians love to be around Jesus Christ and the spirit that he gives? Yes, we should love that. Should our flesh take precedence? No. When we accept salvation in the name of Jesus Christ, we shun the childish things such as what I want, what I desire what the flesh desires. Shun them. Yes, we crave food. Yeah, we, we crave a certain type of food and enjoy certain types of food. I'm going to be honest with you. I enjoy rotisserie bites from Dairy Queen because they taste good. And they're not greasy. They're not breaded. They're not completely fattening they actually taste good about the fattening thing on my meal tonight was french fries and onion rings and the blizzard that I had with it I'll admit it every once in a month or something like that I will enjoy a good blizzard a different flavor yeah I admit that but it is a food I enjoy. And then I don't eat it all the time. I just have it once in a while. Does that make me a glutton? Well, the size I get, which is a large, yeah, that may make me a glutton, and I'm sorry about that. And if it offends you, forgive me. But, in all honesty, it's not what goes inside of me that defiles me. It's what comes out that defiles me. If I'm cussing like a sailor every day of the week, number one, my wife would just grab one of the cast iron skillets and just knock the tarnation out of me because she won't put up with it. I don't expect her to. But if what comes out of me defiles the principles of Jehovah our Father and His Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost 
then there is a far worse punishment than anything my wife could get out there to me. I don't feel completely guilty enjoying food with flavor. Do I overindulge on food sometimes? Eh, yeah. Who doesn't? But I... Personally, I only have it once a month. If that. So, could say, I don't glutton that much. But I just enjoy a good flavor of food. Just like I enjoy the time I commune with Jesus Christ with His Word. I preach two sermons every Sunday. I give Bible study Wednesday nights most of the time, except for if my voice is a little ragged or if something else is happening. And it happens. But if what comes out of me does not reflect what is of Jesus Christ and His Father, then yes, I deserve whatever's coming at me. So we've reached the end of our Bible study tonight. It's not a long one because I preached 90 solid minutes earlier today. So I want to thank you so much. If you've got your prayer request, JBM Prayer at Twitter. If you got a longer prayer request or testimony, JBM Prayer at Live.com. And look at that email daily. And it's there any time. My wife and I look at it almost religiously. If you'd like to book us for a special engagement, jbmworldhq at live.com. You know, I would love to go someplace. And when my wife and I get a car, yes, it will, we'll do it more often. We'll go places, take my camera and stuff with me, and we'll videotape. And we'll make the, the, the video, and we'll add the graphics and the what have you with it, and be able to <clears throat> do it. Or if they've got live streaming capabilities take my computer with me, we'll set it up, and we'll go live. And do it live. And we thank you so much for that. Our website's jamesbarkusministries.weebly.com and jamesbarkusministries.wordpress.com If you're a church that has a case of Bibles that's just collecting dust in a closet somewhere and you'd like to get rid of it, bring it to us. 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. You can hand deliver it USPS, FedEx, or UPS. Now, if you do USPS and you send it to our street address, it will get held at the post office and it will be safe at the post office. 
postage may be donated, check, money order, or stamps itself, or even stamp supplies or what have you. P.O. Box 762, Manchester, Georgia 31816. Address it to James Barkas Ministries. When we stream, uh, this is going to change to when we premiere our service. We're going to premiere our services Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Sunday evening service at 7 p.m. Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. We may start pre-taping all of this or do it live by discretion, depending on what is done about the network. Um, we're taping this one tonight, so it'll go up and be premiering at 7 o'clock tonight. Ways to help, mail your check or money order, James Sparkus Ministries, P.O. Box 762, Manchester, Georgia 31816. For God so loved this world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And it was Jesus that made that prayer to the Father. I and me, thee and me, and I and them, and I and you. See, Jesus was with the Father, he was with all of us. In humanity. And we thank you so much for watching the vineyard. I know it was a short one tonight. I preached 90 minutes earlier today. You got the chance to watch it on YouTube as well. Thank you so much. God bless you.